the eyes widen just briefly, her spine straightens, and she regards you with new interest. I did not hope to hear from them again. We have been expecting the expedition's return for some time now. You did not hope to hear from them again? Ah. Before you get too far on the way, I think you ought to come with me. Director Castor will want to hear from you in person. Okay. Are we being ambushed? What's going on here? Ooh. <clears throat> the man who rises to greet you has a tidy scholarly bear bearing over it, emphasized by the thin frame lenses he pushes farther up his nose. Like this? That's what he did. He claps his hands together, offering you a smile, equal, part, polite, and relieved. Albari tells me you are kind enough to look into this business on Pococahara for us. I hope you bring good news. Unfortunately, it was destroyed? No, I destroyed that. Only if you consider losing your people in the Adra Pillar good news. Yet another sizable investment lost to the desert winds. It, it, it is unfortunate, but the risk was always there. There will be other opportunities. The, uh, the expedition itself. Beza and her people. What happened there? Oh, dude, she's dead. Can't you see? I've got a sword on my hilt. Uh, uh, they died in the ruins at Pococahara. The defenses were too much for them. A sorry end for such dedicated individuals. How very fortunate that you lived to tell their tale. I believe I can take things from here, Alvari. Agrasima. The Watcher and I have more business to discuss. Do we? Oh, and uh, do pay the woman for her trouble first. 1700. I thought it best I speak with you face to face. Watchers are not so numerous here in the Deadfire, especially those of such storied backgrounds as yourself. They tell me you have uh, notable connections among certain of the families in Defiance Bay. The Dominos in particular. I don't know what the Dominos are. And I think that we are each of us in a position to offer each other something that we cannot find elsewhere. The Valian Trading Company has had a presence on this island for nearly a century now. We have the greatest fleet on the seas, the support of the richest men and women in the world. What can the Royal Deadfire Company offer? A soldier's wages, so that you can elevate the fortunes of a distant king and the queen? A place in the Kahanga tribe among all the rest of these neglected people? You've lived outside the caste system all these years. Are you eager to return to it? Mm. I can give you money, fame, certainly. But the men and women of the company, we set our aims high. And if I only wanted to offer you work as an Adra inspector, I would have let Alvari deal with you. I am the Herald of Baraf. Or Baraf. Such tasks are beneath me. Let's see what he says to this. Yes, yes, of course. That is my thinking exactly. The Valian Trading Company has maintained an outpost here in Nekataka for nearly a century now. It was only two years ago that we discovered the effects of Luminous Adra with the aid of our Anamancers and several watches. Flaune Alette has continued to study the potential of Luminous Adra in all manner of advances. Why content ourselves to sell all this Adra as a luxury when we might use it to change the world? I can't... Honestly, I don't know if Adra is good or bad for the world. Like, I know that pillar was causing storms, but... But of course you understand all of this. Let sent there must be more to it than that. In her latest experiment. 
A very dramatic first attempt, I hear. Though, uh, Alette has a tendency to gloss over details. But, uh, I want to hear it from you. How oh! If you ever want to drop by and visit Rimmergrand, now you know where to go. I'm gonna say this. Oh, it wouldn't work for me, I think, but... Ak, I take your meaning. More dangerous than expected, yes? I hope Alette paid you well for your trouble. A small comfort, but... you will return from your adventure a little wealthier, at least. We are in the early days of Alette's research. Flawed as this outing was, there is promise there. This is only the start, you know. The very dawn of a new age of discovery. But just imagine. Imagine if we could transport goods and people more quickly than any vessel or horse. Cure every kind of ailment. Perhaps cure disease altogether. We'll extend our lifespans by decades. Maybe even centuries one day. This has all been the work of a single outpost. I want there to be a dozen outposts, a hundred. Animancers working together to better our lives. Oh Look at God. what we have left behind. Old Velia is a battlefield at constant war with itself. But the Republics have risen from that past. We can rise farther still. And in doing so, we will raise all of Aora with us. What are these symbols? Rautai, Old Velia. Mm. Lofty goals, Castor. Yes, but achievable, I think. I may not live to see it, but I will see the groundwork done. But uh, I've said enough. Too much, I think. There will be more experiments to come. Until then, I have a more grounded task I need assistance with. Nothing that should put your spirit in any danger. <laughs> Nekataka sees its share of smuggling. I doubt that would surprise anyone. But we've learned of a particular exchange that will have more dire effects than a few spoiled Hawana peasants. There is Whoa. a Royal Deadfire Company official by the name of Quarno, who has been meeting in secret with one of the Principi. I do not believe he works with the approval of his masters. He meets with a Captain Tola, a known pirate and smuggler. I hope I don't have to tell you that an alliance between a crooked royal official and the Principi is not the kind of trouble any of us need. Oh, this is so frustrating. <sighs> I have a woman, Britza, waiting in the luminous bathhouse in Periki's overlook. The smugglers do business there, and she has kept an eye on things. I promise to send assistance. Find her, and she will tell you what she knows. I might have to stop doing like these side quests because I don't want to get locked out from like out of the Principe faction. And I don't know if that's a thing in this game. So Why not just tell the RDC? It may surprise you, but the Royal Spymaster and I are not on very good speaking terms. I prefer to handle these matters internally. You provide a good opportunity. Ask some questions first. Of course. Best to go in prepared. Why help the RDC? The discipline of the Royal Officers isn't really what any of this is about. I'm more concerned about the pirates. In this particular case, the companies share an enemy. Okay, well, you won't get along with me, let me tell you. Uh, tell me more about Brise. A fine, valiant woman. Steady temperament. Good sense. The bathhouse sees an enormous number of patrons every day. It is a useful place to have a set of eyes and ears on hand. Do you know anything else about these smugglers? Only that Tola is a captain of middling repute and some small ambition. I expect she feels that a partnership with Quarna will give her an edge. Oh my Fritz god! No I, more. I can't turn this down. 
Okay. Excellent. Meeting you has been a stroke of luck, Watcher. I'll await your report. All right. Three of them leveled up. That's awesome. Uh, how do we get out of here? Let's go loot. Let's loot this place. Oh, never mind. Who's this? Oleska Sarasa. Uh, uh, just a moment. There we are. So, did Alvari send you? I'm putting together the numbers. You'll have to be patient. Well, you're no clerk. Sientere, uh, watcher. I was preoccupied. Do not take it personally. How does she know I'm a watcher? In this side office for a reason. Oleska Sarasa, advisor. Did you get turned around? I have little to do with people, to be honest. Numbers mostly. What can I do for you today, Watcher? How fares the company? I will not lie. Our fortunes dwindle. I must ask the director for some clarity on these figures. I cannot imagine why they are so low. What do you do here? Put plainly, I am an advisor to the director. I keep the books in order and offer advice on the operations of the fleet. Profits, losses, all here. One sec. I have a better head for numbers than for small talk, I'm afraid. It is personal. It is nice to be asked, I suppose. I hardly ever get anyone in here unless her? they need help with their sums. I don't see why you probably have the most important job here. Oh. That is true, but hardly anyone says so. I have been lucky to reach this position. I enjoy the work, and it is clear that I am needed. I can spare a few moments. While the Songreta is away, Cantonero is the company's highest authority on the island. But he mainly concerns himself with diplomatic affairs. For the usual business, you want the director. Oh, him! Good family. Sensible. Big plans for the dead fire he has. Big, expensive plans. She's nice, no? A little intense, maybe. She gets results. Always. Well, it is funded and so controlled by the Sombreta Mea Compresa. I can tell you that much. A council of eleven investors. Dukes, nobles, not. Okay, yo, stream. I'll be back in a minute. I need to go uh, blow my nose real quick. Sorry about that. Right, how how close are these other two to leveling? Oh, oh. 
<clears throat> uh, 300 away. Who's this? Oh, just a seven. Oh, we're upstairs. Okay. <clears throat> Is there something out here? It's actually insane, bro. That those couple of sneezes just started off my allergies all over again. Makes no fucking sense. Oh shit. Is that all? Final journal of Jonas. Wait, didn't I already read find this? <coughs> yeah. Who's Skane again? Or Skarn? Okay. Yeah, we already saw this. Folded note. This note appears to have been quickly jammed under this bench as it slightly crumbled. Uh, it's covered in what seems to be several failed attempts at amorous verse, including a few ill-advised rhymes for the... for Halman's sword. I don't know what that is. Oh, there's a dog here to Never. collect. Toby. What do you give? What did I just do? Oh, I took his cape off. One perception. Wow, dude. <clears throat> I think I might uh, put the sandworm on. Where is it? There. What does this one do? Five all def defense against ground attacks. What's the one I have? Two insight, one metaphysics. Mm, nah, we'll keep this. Do 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 do. Okay, what should I do? Right, I think I want to find this last luminous Ardra crate. <clears throat> so we need to go destroy some ships. You know, I was just thinking of a way to help the little tribal that would also screw over the Valian Trading Company. But you beat me to it. You're becoming quite the asset. Not that the company needs help eating itself from the inside. I'm guessing that you want to be my best friend, and that together we can do some real good in the region. Is that right? <laughs> Sharp. I like that. Once you're coached up and guided in the right direction, I think you'll do very well indeed. If you have any inclination to aid the Huana as a whole, rather than save one pitiful village at a time, you could do worse than tour Imperial Command at the Brass Citadel. Pay us a visit, why don't you? Okay. That was interesting. Right, by sea. <clears throat> do, 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 do. So, let's have a look.
Mad Marina has a buyer seeking crude luminous Ardra at black market rates, but she has no stock to sell. According to her, the Valion Trading Company has a stockpile of crude luminous Ardra at their mill in Queen's Berth. I could steal the free crates I need from the mill or ambush the company's boats at sea. <clears throat> okay, so we're looking for Valion Trading Company uh, boats. Not you. God, how long is this going to take? <laughs> What are you? It's a dead fire merchant. I don't think that's what we're looking for. What about you? Ah! <clears throat> um. How's our cannons looking? Okay, so if we just stay, like, within 200 meters of them, we can actually, like, hit them from both sides. Let's try this. I'm going to save it. I haven't saved it in all day, actually, I don't think. <sighs> Holy shit, that whole armor is insane. Let's try it. We're trying to uh, kill some of his people. Okay, uh, full speed ahead. Okay, perfect. We're in like the 200 meter zone, so. Let's go. Doesn't really matter which way we turn, right? Yeah, I think we're good. Okay, let's just turn the port. Seventy percent? Sure. Okay, we got one crew member. What did that say? They've lost something? Let's do jibe. <clears throat> uh oh. Okay. That's okay, that's okay. We have 45%. No, let's hold position. Now fire. Let's see what these royal bronzes can do. Nice. Very nice. What's this? Alien sailor stabilizing. Okay. Let's do jibe again. position nice fire <laughs> beautiful this is going well Drive again. Oh, 
Ooh, that's a big hit. That one hurt. We can get like a couple more uh, people down. I'll take it. Okay. I'm gonna do it one more time. Just one more. Your ship is faster than your crew uh, better prepared. You secure the wind gauge before the gold bell's crew has the opportunity to come about and claim it for themselves. Let's go. Oh, nice. Thank you for wasting your turn by doing that. Come on, hit. Hit twice. Come on. Okay. So, what? He's got... 11 people left? Enemy captain barks an order and the crew of the gold bell hurry to their stations. Bro, how much let they've got quite a lot. Okay. Um Oh, yes. Very nice. We're just going to keep going. We're gonna keep doing it. Oh! Completely destroyed their sail. A fire started on the deck. Oh my god, what does that do? Five hull damage, 10%, one above deck crew damage. Cool. Very nice. I hope this Radolf guy is not important. <laughs> Be fucked otherwise. What's this? Deck fire effects. Oh, okay. Uh, wait, five percent. Uh, whole position. They're closing in distance. We'll fire. One more time. This side. Oh, beautiful. Oh my god. Those dudes are getting wrecked on the other side. He has no more cannoneers. Everyone's finished. Jeez. So then, how does this work? What happens if we kill their whole crew? I want to test it. Whole position. They're closing the distance again. Right, so he he has one. Does that mean he has seven, or did he have plus six to begin with? I'm just gonna I'm gonna see how this works. So it says he has one. So if I give no quarter and charge, 
How many are going to be in the fight? I want to see if this is how it works. That was a great ship battle though, can't lie. 